Oh, now Michelle's in the room. We can start. <laughs> uh, well, maybe. I am learning a lot here. Sunday, I swear I'm going to get a microphone and have it aimed at the room, and then I'll turn it off once class starts. Oh, Colonel Clank. Wow, I'm impressed. I can't do Schultz. I've always wanted to do Schultz. But, yeah, I know, but it's you can't make it sound like him. We're taking some nice deep breaths in, those of us that are doing class. Everybody else, just keep visiting. Relaxing. Michelle, Kim brought you eggs. So, don't let me forget to give them to you. So let's start with shoulder rolls. Nice, nice deep breath. We're going to relax today. We're going to take it easy. Thursdays have kind of turned into that a little bit. I'm kind of enjoying it, embracing it. So now one shoulder at a time, starting to roll out. So I think we'll kind of continue that for a while until I change my mind like halfway through class say, now let's do some warriors. Ah, and now bring those shoulders forward. You never know what's going to happen. I know I always have a plan, but sometimes that plan gets thwarted and sidetracked and, and something leads me into something we all need. So, and that's, what's important, right? Let's do a little twist to the side. The room speaks to me and we go to the other side. Sounds like a book. The room speaks. Wow. I could make a teacher instruction book on that. Coming forward, coming down, put all kinds of woo-woo stuff in there and make a bunch of stuff up. Yeah. Uh, or tell the truth. I could go either way. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Does truth sell or do you have to have all kinds of hype and stuff? <laughs> I'm afraid sometimes you do. Out to the side. Here, I'll follow you. Okay, we'll go out to the side. We'll breathe. We'll stretch. And Vienna, oh, Vienna says we go to the other side. We come out. We push our fingertip. See, when I say the room speaks to me, it literally speaks to me. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. So we're getting that nice side stretch, right? Opening up the ribs, opening up the side body. And as we make our way to the front, extend those arms out. Thank you for your assist. Ah. I'll give you credit. Sure. And we ease our way up. Hands move just a little bit behind. If we didn't do this one, I would hate it. So we pull the shoulders back. We open up. Take those nice deep breaths. This opens the lungs. You're filling the lungs now. Mm -hmm. Opening the shoulders. Yeah. And right back to center. Ooh. Cat cows, seated cat cows. A big breath in as the belly comes forward, shoulders back. We round down and continue. Uh -oh. And just that spine. I love getting the vision of the spine rolling forward and backwards and open and all the discs going, sh -sh 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 -sh, popping right back into place. An anatomy geek like Peg would probably know exactly how to explain that, but it works. Torso circles. Gentle, gentle, gentle movement. Me? Danny boy, rain on the roof. This is good stuff. <laughs> Other direction. I only wish you all, I only hope you all have as much fun as I do. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, and right back to center. Let's change across of our life. <laughs> Boy, howdy we do, huh? You stole her line. <laughs> wow. I'm sad for you. I mean, it's like, don't you have that copyrighted? Well, okay. We're going to take our arms out to the side. We're going to take a nice deep breath in as we inhale them overhead. Exhale, softly push the palms away. We're flying. I really like that vision I got the other day of when you fly, you're soaring above everything and you get a clear vision. 
I was like, I read this book one time. It was talking about how perspective is so important. Like, you know, if you're trying to see something and you're on the ground, you know, you don't realize what's out there, but you climb up to the top of a tree, it gives you a whole new perspective. So if you start looking at your life that way as you're soaring through the clouds, it might surprise you. Yeah, a couple more. Oh, and release. Let's take our right arm out. Let's do our shoulder stretches. We bend our elbow. We pull across and push back out. <clears throat> Good. Straighten the arm. Give a nice pull. And other side, we bend the elbow. We pull across and push back out. I know it's springtime and we want sun, but I don't know. Spring storms are kind of cool in a lot of ways. Look at that rain splashing off the windows, trees gently blowing. And give that a nice straighten and pull. And we'll take our right arm up in the air. First, we give ourselves a pat on the back, congratulating ourselves for getting up, getting here, fighting through the storm. Push that elbow center and back, and we lean over, stretching right down the side. Oh, man. Other side, the arm comes up, pat on the back, elbow, center, back, big side stretch. And don't forget the back of the arm. You're pushing the elbow into the hand to keep that arm stretching also. Mm, nice. Releasing back to center and lace those fingers, this upper spinal breath movement. Now we take that big breath in as the elbows come back. Open and then round the upper back as you reach. You're going to feel a stretch. If you're just rounding the upper back, you're going to feel this between your shoulder blades as you reach way out there. And let's do a few more of those. Hmm, I forget the name of this one, but I really, really like it. Maybe, some, maybe in the next week we'll incorporate the deer into this. Did you do uh, Did you do Lee's Animal Frolic? It was a little disappointing. It was much more subdued than the ones I'd been through with him before. I didn't buy the big units, so. Yeah. And we'll come up. Oh, great information. History of Qigong, history of Animal Frolics. I mean, it's a, it's a great little bit. If you haven't seen it, Lee Holden's got a, a free video online if you'd like the link for that. It's 90 minutes all about animal frolics and Qigong. And animal frolics is really kind of fun. He does the bear and the tiger. And, and deer is kind of fun because you make these funky little hooves as you pull back. And I mean, you make your antlers and you make your hooves as you reach forward. So you bring your antlers back. And then the deer extends. Animal frolics were created. Uh, did we twist yet? Let's twist. Animal frolics were created from observing nature. And then moving your body like the animals move. So it brings strength and suppleness. And imagine moving like a leopard. You ever watch a leopard move? And then we tick tock side to side. Yeah. So bend the elbows. Bring your hands behind your head, elbows back. <laughs> I know I do all this sharing. I just realized, you know, we've been, I told you in the first class, we've been watching Northern Exposure. And I don't know if, you're, if you ever watched the show, the disc jockey's name was Chris Stevens. And he just waxed profound on everything. So I think I've been uh, kind of channeling him a little bit. Let's come down, reach up and over, breathe right into your side. Take some nice deep breaths. Mm. And then let's get that little, I guess I've always done that. So never mind. <laughs> we do that little, it's just me. <laughs> oh. mm. Mm. And let's come back over and do the other side. Reach out, bend the elbows, soften, reach, extend, breathe right into your side. And then we rotate down. Mm -hmm. Two more things I'd like to do while we're seated. Let's stack our arms, push your elbows into your hands. Let's go ahead and roll out the rotator cuffs. Reverse direction. <clears throat> OK. 
Good. We're coming back to center. Now you can just simply change your arms. You can do a little dramatic flare and come up and over. More fun that way. Up to you. You know, if you want to just, just change the cross, I mean, change the stack of the arms, you can. Good. And a reverse. I thought you were the drama queen. Come on, man. Live up to your reputation. Embody it. Embrace it. And right back to center with some easy shoulder rolls. <laughs> you got to embrace who you are, you know? Ah, oh, and I want to do another forward fold. We're going to come down nice and easy. Oh, that feels as good as I thought it would. Take some nice deep breaths as you extend those arms out, easing your way in. Yeah, good. And we're going to come back up. Let's go ahead and slide off our bolsters if we're on bolsters. We're going to take our knees out wide. We're going to take our feet out wide. We're going to lean back. And we're going to take the knees side to side. I recorded the last, uh, yesterday I put up an exclusively for on-demand video where I did a little 15-minute version of this little hip series that I'd almost forgotten. And so uh, let's, let's go through it this morning. Not the whole thing, just these two or three parts right here. So we go, helps get the hips open, a little bit of flexibility. Ah, Now, let your knees drop down to the right. We're gonna set up nice and tall. We're gonna bring that torso tall. We rotate towards the bent knee and we're gonna come down. So you're getting this nice, it's like that ringing out stretch. That's a little more supported, but a little deeper also. And you're gonna pull it more into your back. But you're working on the hip also, the one with the bent knee. Obviously, you're stretching that, even the one where the foot is still out. So we breathe. We take some nice deep breaths here. If your hips are ever feeling a little stuck, I'm going to leave that one up in the time saver category. If your hips are ever feeling a little stuck, just go ahead and grab that video, the on-demand, and do it real quickly. It'll surprise you. It was a beautiful opener yesterday. I needed it personally, so... <laughs> Ah, uh, nice. And let's make our way back up. We're going to go ahead and take the legs out wide again, leaning back and go let the knees float side to side a couple more times. Hmm. Yeah, you kind of let those knees drop down as close to the mat as they can comfortably go. Yeah. And we should probably go left things. Everybody's there waiting for me. Bring your torso up, rotate around, come down, give it a nice hug. Oops. <laughs> Ah, take some breath. Take some breath. Hmm. Nice. Then make your way back up. We go back to side to side one more time. A couple times. Side to side. Let it float. And when you're ready, we're going to take our legs out wide. We're going to sit nice and tall. You may have to pull the flesh off your sit bones. Sometimes that's nice. We get those out. We take a nice deep breath in and we roll down towards our feet. A gentle direction. I'll extend the legs long. Pull back on your toes. Even if you don't have them, pull those toes back, activating the entire back of the leg. Some nice deep breath. Oh. If your chest is flat on the floor, color me impressed. Someday I'm going to do that. If you ever read Bob Cooley's Genius of Flexibility book, he was in a horrific accident. Let's make our way up while I'm telling my story. Bend the left knee, tuck the foot into the leg. We rotate towards that right leg. Extend your arms up overhead. We're going to come down. Anyways, he was in an accident. He told he'd never walk again. He, this was actually how he discovered resistance stretching. And he let set in a wide leg, willing his body to do a forward fold for months. And then one day it just let go. Boom. And down he went. And he looked like Linda's chest flat on the mat, just as crazy. And it took him another month to figure out what he had done. And it was the contracting of the muscles that allowed him to go down. So that was how, how resistance stretching was discovered. And then with the help of my, my mentor, Steve, and Anne, they developed where they actually added the uh, the resistance through movement. And so it became quite the Bob today is really flexible and in great shape and told he would never walk again. And at about my age, he is definitely, definitely a great example of what can be done. Opening to the inside, we're going to sweep the other arm up and over. And it's, pardon? When did he, about 
early 2000s. Yeah. Hmm. And we're going to make our way up. Rotate towards that bent knee. We'll come down giving it a hug. It's nice to know these things exist and why they exist. So gives us a little bit of context. I don't just make this stuff up. <laughs> well, some of it I do, but don't tell. No, not really. Hmm, that's nice. So let's just gentle our way back up. Take your legs back out wide again. Good. Let's go down again. Take a big breath in. See if maybe releasing that one hip gave you a little bit more distance here, a little bit more ease as you come down. Maybe you go a little bit deeper. Maybe that side's a little bit deeper. Mm. And now ease your way back up. Go ahead and bend that right knee now. We're going to tuck that right foot in. Rotate towards your left leg. Extend your arms up long. We reach all the way down. Oh, man, we take some deep breaths here. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice how that pulls into your back on the opposite side? Do you feel that? That's just such a beautiful stretch. And then you're stretching the hamstrings, the calves, as the toes are pulled back towards your forehead. Let's hold this for another couple breaths. Nice. Now you take that torso, you rotate to the inside. I believe it's your right arm will come up and over. We reach down towards the foot. We breathe here. We breathe right into our side. Very nice. Yes. A couple of you got your toes very impressive or close. Mm -hmm. We all have different flexibility. Our bodies are all built differently. So don't ever look at somebody else in the room and go, oh, they're so much better than me. Because they're not. They just happen to be built that way. Or they've done flexibility their whole life. Or they were gymnasts their whole life. So we make our way up. Rotate towards the bent knee. And coming down. Ah. Mm. Ah. And you too could get there someday. Maybe. That's a goal. My goal is to move well, to have enough strength so that if I slip and fall and do the splits, I don't tear my body. I don't throw my hips out. That's my goal. I don't care if I'm ever uber flexible. So everybody, make your own goals. And sometimes striving for that protection, for that safety, especially as we age. Yeah. And aging can be 30 or aging can be 80. Nice. Make your way back up. Let's go out wide legged one more time. Take that easy breath in and then reach down or just reach down. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go ahead and do our inner thighs behind that. We're going to bring the soles of our feet together. Scooch your heels in a little bit. We're going to sit tall first, and then we're going to do a little rotation to the side. We're going to open up the hips a little bit this way, taking some nice deep breath in. Mm. Yeah, and then come around to the other side. Oh, that's opening the opposite side a little bit. And then we'll come back in. Now, let's go ahead and warm it up. We'll do our regular resistance stretches. We squeeze in against the weight of our arms and then release back out. We want them to work. We want the legs working a little bit before we stretch them, making sure we've got the strength through the muscles to get these deep stretches. Now you squeeze in and push out. Uh, ooh. And a couple more of those. Nice deep breath in. Push it out. I know, I know. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ah, and this time, try releasing and just coming down. See what that feels like for you. Let those knees fall out nice and easy. Take a breath or two. And only if you want to, you don't have to do this. I like to put my hands behind, pop those hips up in the air. It's a butterfly reverse table, brings a little power, opens the hips a little bit more, and then you just ease your way back down. Yeah, legs straight out in front. We're going to move to staff position now. Hands at your side. Your fingers are facing forward. Legs are engaged. Toes back towards your forehead. We'll take an easy breath in as we inhale up. Exhale down. Nice. Reach toward the toes. Take a breath here. And now again, we sweep those arms up overhead. Huge breath in. You've got a lot of body length as you come down, folding at the waist as much as you can. Nice deep breath. Oh. Mm. There it is. 
And one more time, huge breath in, lift, 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 extend the arms. Now really, like we go, we go to down dog, reach them way out there and breathe. Okay, as you come up, we're going to bend our right knee, place that foot on the outside. We're going to reach around. You can reach around like this, or you can also like that either way. We're going to go into this. We're stretching the hips. Uh, we're doing our torso twist. We take a couple, three breaths here. Actually, you can resist that leg a little bit as the hand pulls in if you'd like. Nice. And let's do the other side. We simply switch, bend the knee. And again, you can reach around, throwing in the twist, however you like to do it. I never have seen swim. Oh, no. Did you go the wrong way? I don't know. I don't think I got, I don't think I gave directions. We're coming back to center. Our legs are long. We're going to embrace staff position because staff position is good for relaxation and letting it go. I didn't give a direction. It's okay. You know the best thing? You go the way that's easiest for you first, then you go the way the hard way afterwards. So I'm going to start in a staff position here, and I'm going to gently roll back. Oh, man, feel that spine in that night. Oh, we're going to hold halfway? Okay, we can do that. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, rock and roll, legs come up, you know, you just a little bit of swimming, a little bit of breaststroke, you know. And then we roll all the way down. Oh, full body stretch, reach for front and back of the room. Oh, and release. Take a break. That feels nice. We did all that hard core work right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hugging that right knee, extend the left leg long. And let's do some hip circles here. Roll out the hip. <laughs> and you know what? If you prefer to hug in the left, it's okay. Only time I will insist on people going the way I tell them is when you have six inches on your mat on each side. Then I'd recommend going right. But you know what? Sometimes it's a nice way to meet your neighbor. Hug your knee in, right hand on the inside. I mean, I got to admit in San Diego a couple times, I did it on purpose. <laughs> Left arm out to T, right hand pushes down. You're right. <laughs> yeah, 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 I met my neighbor. <laughs> uh, oops, I was supposed to go left. Uh, I'm so sorry. By the way, I'm Dave. Nice to meet you. Uh, bring that knee back to center. Left hand pulls it across your body. Right arm floats out to a T. Look over your right shoulder. And nice deep breath. Mm, mm, mm. Let's hold this one for a little bit. The lateral side, the lateral front is often, often one of the tight areas, especially this IT band area now. It's if you're keeping the contraction on by pushing the knee into the hand. Should be feeling this on the outside of that right leg. Or if you took the left knee, it'd be the left leg. Mm -hmm. I'll bet you know which leg is stretching right now. Mm. Nice. Roll onto your back. Extend that leg up in the air. Reach around behind. We give a gentle pull in. We're simply going to do two or three breaths in each of our hamstring positions. And now take that leg outside of your right shoulder. We gently pull in. And diagonally outside of your left. Just a couple breaths, a couple pumps. And then bend that knee. We hug it in, extend that leg long on the mat. Left leg sweeps up in the air. Bend the knee, hug it in, and do little circles. Mm. Reverse the direction. Huh. 
Hug that knee in, left hand on the inside of the knee, pushes it out to the mat, right arm out to a T or to the side. You look over that right shoulder. Right shoulder's anchored to the mat, no matter how you've got your arm. And we breathe. As that knee comes up, we hug it in, right hand on the outside of the knee, pulls it across your body, left arm out to the side or a T, left shoulder stays glued to the mat. Some nice deep breaths and think about softening the right side where it's contacting the mat. Let that go. Ooh. Nice. Keeping that contraction on to make the stretch in the IT band up into the hip. And you might even, you know, if you're feeling like it's slipping into your back a little more, pull that knee in a little bit more. Oh. Gently onto your back, hugging both knees in. We rock side to side. Ah, oh, now let's open up that spine and give it a massage with some bridges. Soles your feet, drop them out. Let your arms fall down to the side. Roll your palms down. On a nice breath, and lift your bottom way high up in the air. Oh, we take a pause. The top, feel that weight roll to your shoulders, top of your shoulders. Now take a deep breath in. And then exhale slowly. We engage the abdominals as we flatten the spine all the way down. Ah, oh, yeah. Take a breath at the bottom. I'll get back on camera. I seem to have the scoots today. Ah, oh, nice. And once again, deep breath in. We elevate up in the air. If you'd like to come up on your tiptoes, that can enhance this a little bit. You're going to pull it into your quads. You're going to feel more depth. And if you like to interlace your fingers behind your back, that's kind of cool too. Oh, take a deep breath in. And release all of that as you slowly roll back down. We're going to do one more of those. We're going to let the tailbone hit and take a breath first. Mm -mm -mm. Making any adjustments you need. And then one more time, that huge breath in. We come up however you want to come up. Fingers can be interlaced. Arms pushing in. Up on your tiptoes if you'd like. We take a breath. And another. And next time, let's fill up with air with that huge breath in. And as you release that breath, we unwind slowly, coming back down. Nice. Knees go side to side a couple times. Good. Take your knees back to center. We're going to take two or three breaths in this, this gentle position. One, if you do my class regularly, you're familiar with. Take those shoulder blades out wide. Tuck your chin. We relax the lower back, letting everything go. We're going to release into a full body stretch. From that, we're going to roll over and make our way to Sphinx. We know Sphinx, right? We're under our belly, shoulder, elbows under our shoulders, fingers spread wide. We're looking just beyond our fingertips. Taking that big, relaxing breath. We're going to stack our hands, bring your head down to the back of your hands, bend your knees, your legs go side to side. Hmm. Knees come together, they touch, your feet fall out wide. We breathe, we hold. And then as your knees go wide, we bring the soles of our feet together, dropping those heels down toward the mat. 
deep breath. Hmm. Another breath. And then we bring the knees closer together as the legs go side to side again. And we're going to let one leg drop down to the floor. We're going to reach back for our foot. We're going to give a nice pull in, stretching the quadriceps. Ah, pushing the foot into the hands and breathe. Yeah. Ah, nice. And switch sides. Switch over to the other leg again. Reach back. Give that nice gentle pull in. Yes. Oof. And I'm not going to do it today, but if you want to grab both and go to bow. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Those of you that are up to it today, very nice. Very nice. And release down long. Take another deep breath as your head comes back down. Hmm. Yeah, just breathe. Breathe and relax. Feel how nice and loose the top of the legs, the hips are right now. We're going to move back to that sphinx. If you want to go a little deeper, you move the hands out and up. Straighten the arms coming up into seal. Oh. We hold it. We breathe. If you need to drop back down to Sphinx, or if you're in Sphinx, just stay there and breathe. Back down to Sphinx if you're up in Seal. We're going to bring our hands back by our shoulders. We're going to pop up to our table. We're going to rock our hips a little bit, side to side, looking over the opposite shoulder. Floating. Nice. Okay. Cat cows, let's roll the spine. Oh, yeah, give that little stretch to the top and bottom. Maybe there's a little stiffness, a stiffness in there. We've done some really, really deep stretches today. We've uh, not done a lot of movement, so go ahead and take a minute. Let's, let's just continue rolling through this, kind of letting the back ease out, let it open up, and let's do hip circles. Let's continue this movement for a couple beats. Reversing direction. And we're going to make our way to pigeon rest. Now, if you'd prefer to roll on your back and do our normal glute stretch, that's great. Otherwise, bring that left knee forward and out. Left leg goes across, right leg slips back long. We're going to go into this deep stretch and hold it for a couple minutes. If you need to roll onto your back and do the glute stretch, that's fine. Where you put the ankle just above your knee, pick up your foot and reach behind. Very effective. Also, this one will go a little deeper. And the more you can relax, the more you can level out your bottom. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you can slide a, a real help on this one is if you're new to it or it's tough. You take that bolster and, and the bent knee, you slide it under right there, and then you come down, it's like, oh, that's better. Yeah, yummy. Good. And so we breathe. We let the body release. First time I did this, I swore I would never go back to a class again. So, yeah. And over the years, it's become one of my favorite stretches. Such a great opener. And really, you don't have to do a lot of work other than get in the position and maybe keep working on leveling your hips and getting that leg out a little bit further to make sure you're isolating this into your glutes. Always listening to your body. And if you're on the bolster and you feel a little bit of release, you know, you can take that thing and just pop it back a quarter inch, half an inch, and maybe sink in and feel how that stretch intensifies a little bit again. That's listening to your body. We hold this one for at least a couple minutes, so you got a lot of time to play with it. Melt, sink, relax. Beautiful. Beautiful. Cool. Let's gently come up, 
you're going to change the other side if you're on your back. If you're in pigeon, we're simply going to roll out. And we're going to switch sides. But maybe, maybe you want to rock the hips a little bit. Maybe if you're coming off your back, you take the knees side to side a couple times. And then when you're ready, you slide the opposite knee forward. That leg goes out. Oh, yeah. Slip the left leg back. We come down and we're in our pigeon rest. Or we switch sides if we're on our back. Either way. Yeah. Listening to your body. Yeah. Shift that bolster over to the other side. will help. Beautiful. Beautiful. And get as far up there as you need. Get that support. I mean, your bottom may be way up in the air, but if you're stretching those glutes, it shows you how tight your glutes are. Yeah. Come on. Uh, so next time somebody calls you a tight leap, you might just go, yep, you're right, I am. <laughs> uh, embrace who you are. Ah, oh. good thing I got a stopwatch for this. Ah, oh. well, stopwatch. Yeah, I guess that's stopwatch. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy also. Woo. You just had a nice little release. That that's amazing as you're doing this and you know, if you're tight like me and all of a sudden something will just release and you feel that back leg go longer and it's like wow. Same thing if you're on your back, you'll feel the same thing there. You actually, you know, you can get a little lazy on your back. You can It'll, it'll just, everything will relax and the muscle will be releasing and you forget to pull in a little bit more and give it a little bit more challenge. Now, whether you're, whether you're in pigeon, whether you're on your back, we're going to come out of it. We're going to make our way up. We'll take a nice deep breath and then let's all meet up on our backs. Once you're there, going to bend your knees, soles your feet are on the mat. Oh, we're going to let those knees fall out wide. You bring the soles of your feet together. Move that breath deep, really deep now. Oh, take some big, beautiful breaths. Work those shoulder blades out wide. Feel those knees. Oh, mine feel closer to the floor than usual. This is a good hip session today. So we take those deep breaths. We let the body relax. Softening. Releasing. And turning over any responsibility from this point on to the wisdom of your body. And you simply embrace that beautiful breath. Feel how it nourishes you as you come in. And as you release, it can carry away the, the breath going out, can carry away any tension, stress, anxiety. Any of those negative things that we really don't need. They're usually false anyways. As you release your legs long, let your arms float down to the side. You can roll your palms up and then embrace this position for the next few minutes or find a position that works better for you. Always an option. We're always listening to our bodies. We're always going to what feels right for us. Even staying, yeah, even staying in the, in the cobbler, if you like. Yeah, legs up the wall. Never a mistake. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Whew. All right, we all breathe. We relax and we let it go. I gave you an extra minute today, so go ahead and just breathe deeply. Breathe deeply. How about we let Carlos talk to us? Yeah. As we continue our deep breath, a deep relaxation. Yeah. 
I say letting everything go, I'm talking about anything negative in your body, anything negative in your psyche. Just watch it float away. Never to return. Free it, let it go. Continue with your breath, continue to let your body do what it knows it needs to do. You really set it up today. You stretched deeply, did something that's good for you, and it's going to reward you now if you just give it permission. Stay with your breath. How about starting to find some easy motion, however it feels nice for you. Keep that breath deep, even a big stretch maybe. Big stretches are nice. And when you're ready, come on up, join me. Um, yes. Do a little twist. Make your way around the other direction. As we surrender forward one last time. Oh man, gently come up, sweep those arms out and up. Gathering the heavens as we take a huge breath in, plugging them right into your heart, into your heartbeat. Find that heartbeat. Take a moment. Be grateful for it. Be grateful for whatever your day is going to bring. What a blessing. Speaking of blessing, thank you all for joining me today. I had a lot of fun. and God, have a great day. <laughs>